Hi, and good morning, everyone. Can you all hear me? Yes. OK, wonderful. So welcome to CTS College and welcome to our information session. My name is Ravi Johnson. Uh, as we indicated, we'll start at 11 a.m., but um, we anticipated quite a few more persons. So between 11 and 11.05, or five minutes after that, we'd start shortly, right? Good morning once again, everyone. Um, for those of you who just joined us, um, we are going to start shortly. Uh, within five minutes, we should be able to start. I'm just waiting on a few more persons to join in. And once they're online, we'd start our official information session and presentation.
Okay, um, I think we'll go ahead and start. Good morning and welcome to CTS College and welcome to our Preschool Academy information session. Um, we're really excited to tell you about our Preschool Academy. And this is in fact the official launch and start of the Academy. It's the first, thing, first time we're doing anything like this. Um, my name is Ravi Johnson. I am the Academic Director of CTS College. And my task is quite simple this morning, is to tell you a little bit about CTS College, do the formal introductions, and after that, I'll hand you over to uh, Mrs. Renee Gordon, who is the principal and founder of Wren's Bright Beginners. And CTS College will be partnering with, with Renee and with Wren's Bright Beginners to offer the, the preschool academy. Renee, are you online with us? Yes, I am. I'm right here. Yes, so I am seeing Renee online with us. And a bit later on, Rene will present and tell you about this concept of the Preschool Academy and how it will be delivered, right? And I think it's a bit different from your, from your typical preschool, it's a bit different from your typical online classes. And she will share the details with you about how the Academy will be run and delivered each week or each month as we go along. Um, before I hand you over to Rene, however, I just want to do a quick survey to find out the ages of your kiddies, right? So just give me one quick second and I'll do a quick poll for you. So guys, we just wanna get some information on the ages of your kiddies, right? So if you could just, are you all seeing the poll? If you can Morning. quickly do the poll yeah. to just indicate what are the ages of your children. So we'll have an idea of who we are presenting to or who we are catering for. Just waiting on a couple more persons to do the survey. If you can just click on the um, the poll and select your the age of your child. Okay, wonderful. So, um, what we'll be doing today, guys, is. Um, we'll tell you a little bit about CTS College and um, what we've been doing and how we have been delivering our courses and what makes us different. And of course, I'll have Rene come on a bit later on and tell you about the Preschool Academy and how we plan to deliver the Preschool Academy. We'll tell you about the registration process, the payments, what support is available. And of course, we'll stay online a bit after. So in case you have any questions, you could ask them while we present or at the end of it, we'll stay online. So if you have any questions specific to you or your child, we'd be more than happy to accommodate those questions and have you um, and clarify any, any uncertainties which you might have, right? What I'd like to do though, is I wanna find out from you because you would have seen the ad about the preschool on, on Facebook or social media, whatever it is, and you would have taken an interest and hence the reason why you're here this morning, right? So I just wanna hear from you, the parents, and you could unmute your mic, and um, tell us, well, why it is you're interested in, it, in this preschool and what are some of the potential benefits for your children for attending a preschool? So anybody, you could just unmute your mic and tell me. I go first now. Anyone, Nanda? Hi, Hi. Nanda. Hi. Hi, Ravi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm okay, thanks. So we have a three-year-old son and our goal would be basically to see um, how you guys present the, um, the school. Yeah, like what, what material you guys have that would be able to assist our son in getting the best possible head start, I should say. Understood. Understood. So you're just interested, you're just looking at the materials or what yeah. we will deliver to see if it can benefit. Fair enough. Sure. Yeah. Anyone else? Hi, good morning. Um, Hi, morning, Julia. Hi, I have a four-year-old in preparation for primary school. So what caught my eye is the um the differences that you all have on the flyer with learning Spanish, sign language. Right now, he attends a preschool 
but I'm not getting that type of attention during Zoom classes with him. Um, right. So um, that, that's what actually caught my eye. And well, I signed up for CTS for my elder son last term as well. So okay. I was speaking for the administration and the thought process. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Hi. All right. Um, Julie, I'm, I'm not too sure if you're aware, but you know, sometimes depending on the primary school, you know, sometimes they would actually interview or pre-screen your child before they enter primary school because they must have certain skills before they get into the primary school. Correct. Yes. And especially yeah. social skills, um, creative skills. And I see you all have a couple of those in these, um, in the lesson to be taught during the school too. Right. Understood. So I think it's important for children to get that foundation. Uh, and, and in my days, to be quite honest, you didn't need that. But to get that right. foundation in order for them to, to get that, get into the primary school, right? All right, I'll take one more person. Anyone else? Why are you interested in, in this preschool? Hi, Ravi, good morning. Hi, morning. Erica? Yes, how are you doing? Good, Erica. Um, so Abigail, my older, my five-year-old is in the, pre the primary school right now. And right. so I have a three-year-old who is learning a lot from Abigail. And so I like that the scope of what you guys offer in the preschool is, is not just as simple as, you know, beyond what you normally expect. And so that's right. what caught my eye with this, this course. Understood. Okay. And these are all some of the, the benefits um, which your children can gain for uh, when they attend preschool, right? It's the opportunity for development and growth. Uh, promotes academics as well. And as somebody mentioned, I think it was now that promotes the, the social skills as well. But instead of me telling you about the benefits and how it is offered, at this point, I'd like to introduce you to Rennie, who would come online and tell you about the preschool and how we plan to deliver it and what are some of the techniques and methods on, on how we'll do it. Rennie, are you online? I am, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you quite clearly, right? Yes. So, Welcome, Rene. Take it away whenever you're ready, and you feel free to share your screen. Right? I think you can share your screen in your presentation. Actually, you have to um, give me that permission. Okay. Did you request it? I did. It said it's um, the host disabled participant screen sharing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hold on one second. No problem. Can you try now, Rene? Oh, yes. So I am getting through. Thank you. Okay, wonderful. Uh, good morning to everyone. Good morning, all parents. Morning. Again, right? And um, thank you for being a part of CPS College presentation or the information session this morning. We are here to discuss CPS College preschool academy early learners program right early learners program it speaks for itself it basically means that this program is geared towards junior preschoolers and senior preschoolers all right so before we begin i or this is the teacher in me i always like to start with an icebreaker now parents please don't be afraid to put on your cameras so i can see whom i'm speaking with don't be afraid you can't put on your camera all right, um, so the idea of this, like I said, it's just a uh, icebreaker to get you a little loose, you know, while we're doing, getting into our session. So the idea of this is to say the color, but not the word. All right, you have to say the color, but not the word. That's the trick there. So you're looking at the word blue, right? But it's not blue, it's actually red. So you have to say the color. So you have to, let me see if I could try it. I haven't tried it before, so let me try it. It's red, blue, pink, gray, brown. Oh my God, I did it good. So I see a Nanda face looking like, oh my God, what is this? <laughs> right? Is there anyone who is willing to try it? Come, let's try our icebreaker and see. Anyone willing to try? Come on, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's just a fun icebreaker. At least one person, let's try. <laughs> so um the second line should we try from the second line you can try the second line let's go so it's um orange no orange 
green, <laughs> yellow, <laughs> um, purple, and red. Yay! See, that was so easy. Erica looks like she wants to try right now. Erica is smiling and she looks like she wants to try. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll do the third line. So, okay. Um, red, blue, gray, brown, orange, pink. What? I think you're right there. Oh, yeah. It, it helps. <laughs> it helps when you point. <laughs> Can we have one more volunteer to do the last line? Anyone would like to try the last line? Okay, I think I got it. All right. Um, green, yellow, purple, <laughs> red, <laughs> pink, orange. Awesome. Great. See how easy that was? No, that was just to get into the mood and to the groove um, of our presentation. Um, and like Erica said, it's fun. And that's the idea we have. So let's begin. So parents, I want to hear from you first before we start this presentation. I would like to know how has the COVID-19 pandemic affected you as a parent, right? Not how it affected your home or your your finances, but how it affected you as a parent, be it positive or negative, whether you're so happy because it gave you more time or negative where you don't have the time. So let's hear from you. How has this COVID-19 pandemic affected you as a parent? No one had effects. The pandemic was really awesome and it did nothing to you. Yes, no? Um, I think in my case, I, I have two kids that are homeschooled. And so it was, it was a, a not as drastic of a change to say that, you know, my kids are now home from school. But to the extent that I'm not able to take them out to learn on field trips and those things now. Um, and that, you know, at home, they're kind of getting bored because they're not able to go out. The social aspect now is eliminated. I know as far as person to person goes, everything is now online. Yeah. So I think that's the effect for me. Had on you. Okay, so not so much educationally, but more so socially. Yes. All right, got it. Anyone else? How has the pandemic affected you as a parent? If you're working, you know, how has that, you know, impacted on the time to work with your children? Well, um... For us as a parent, Nanda and myself, um, this is our first child. Um, he's three years old. And um, well, the positive aspect, we, we get to spend a lot of time with him now, but we we kind of confused as to what, what schooling we have to give to him in terms of um, social interaction. We have no options now yeah. in terms of preschool. So mm -hmm. this is the main reason we're looking at this in order to um, get him involved in something like this. But the only negative aspect I'm seeing in this is we have no social interaction. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That entire social interaction is out of the door. No outdoor for them. They're indoor yeah. time. So they are unable to interact with friends, meet new friends and so forth. So I totally get that. One, one question though um, I wanted to ask is um, how... How, how would you get the child, he's three years old, how would you get him to focus on a screen? I'm not sure how, because he, he, he attention span in terms of looking at a screen could be kind of short now. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm, 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 I'm a bit worried about that. Well, I don't think that you should be worried about it because this early learning, early learners program does not require your children to be behind the screen for a lengthy period of time. Right, so have no fear. We're here to guide and support you um, along the way, which would also give you some useful tips on how to engage your children in learning. And of course, like you are asking, how to get them to settle, to settle in. Right, so have no fear. All right, so we've heard some, we've heard from the parents. Um, we've heard the, the negative aspect of it where we definitely can't change that. Um, we can't go take them outdoors to field trips or outings or anything like that. And the interaction level with their friends is really, really low. So, well, well to nil, we can possibly see. So we can't fix that, but guess what parents? We have heard your cries. CTS has heard all of your cries. 
I don't know where to start. I have no time for online classes. How am I going to work? I don't know how to make learning more fun and inter interesting for my child. This child doesn't want to do the work with me, only the teacher. And oh my God, how do these teachers do this? That's the most important, <laughs> that's the question parents ask. How do these teachers do this? Because I don't know what I am doing. Don't worry, we've heard your price and we are here to help you. And most importantly, parents, we do not want your children when it's time to go back out to school to end up like this. Is everyone hearing it? No hearing it. Oh my God, we definitely don't want them going back out to school like this, pointing at their knees and saying it's their toes, right? So we are here to help you in that aspect and to avoid that from happening. We are here to get you from those, from this point standpoint of going crazy as you would see in the bottom images and the upper left hand images and we want to get you to transition into smooth parenting as you would see that parent doing at the right, right, upper right hand corner of the screen all right so we're getting into it so let's talk a little bit about me my name is Mrs. Rennie Gordon, to my children I am Auntie Rennie, Auntie Ren they call me I have 12 years experience in the field of education. In 2014, I acquired my, I became certified in early childhood care and education. And a couple years later, I attained my bachelor's of education from the University of New Brunswick. I love learning. I enjoy participating in a series of courses that would enhance my teaching skills and basically open up, open my knowledge, right? Um, and most importantly, when it comes to my culture, I love steel pan and I love Best Village, right? So that's a little bit about me. We're moving forward. I am also the principal of Rents Bright Beginners Preschool and Daycare. This is our school. We are located on Lady Young Road. Um, of course, we may have a change in location when school reopens, but this is to give you an idea of what our school looks like. I am also an early childhood care and education facilitator for YTEP and East Port Spain Development Company. I am also a self-publisher slash author. In 2019, I published my first book, Timetables Learning Book. I have recently completed my Bright Beginner series in addition to my Bright Start Accounting book, which is my latest project. And lastly about me, I enjoy doing makeup. It's so therapeutic. I really, really enjoy doing makeup. All right, let me just check the chat. Oh, somebody said, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> right, sorry about that. I enjoy doing makeup, it's therapeutic. And that is basically it all about me. So let's talk about Bright Beginners Preschool, this school that CPS College will be partnering with to offer this early learners program. Rents Bright Beginners has been in existence for almost five years. July of this year would make it five years. We were one of the first schools to transition to online learning. We started our online learning in March 2020 as the Prime Minister would have closed all learning centers. We are not shy, our school, we are not shy to the spotlight. We are known, we are known for the spotlight. I always try to um, share our children's achievements and accomplishments and introduce the public to our school, right? So we've had a series of, we have had Express done articles on us. We have YBTT done articles on us. And we've also, we're very popular in the Express. So <laughs> we always share photos of our children, um, like I said, of their accomplishments and whatever achievements they have made, we share it. And of course, let the public know who we are. 
So let's talk about this distance learning program. Now, I just want to clarify something. It is not an online program. It is a distance learning program, meaning that homeschooling is enforced more, of course, during this program, because this is where we need the parents to step in and assist the children even more, right? So this distance learning program is geared towards children ages three to four, junior preschoolers, and four to five. There's an exception for two and a half year olds. Um, if they are, if they are, advance an advanced two and a half year old we will definitely take them into the program what would you receive once you participate in this distance learning program you will be receiving weekly packages well in our case right now to assist parents with um time you know balancing their time and not having to come out to the school frequently we are now doing it monthly so you will have monthly packages which would have activities crafts and and worksheets in addition to that, we have an online platform that you'll have 24 hour access to. We we'll also provide you with resources via the IVIS link. You would receive a list of book resources, meaning like a book list. You would receive one hour Zoom online session. That's a bonus. And we have a WhatsApp support group. So let's go through each in detail. So this is what our first packages usually look like at the beginning of the term, right? We usually put them together in a plastic file, a Velcro, a file with like a, a Velcro sticker or a button, um, put together all the worksheets in a specific order, in the order in which it is supposed to be completed. And they usually get some really cool things, you know, like little bag or bubbles or pencil, balloons, you name it. We try to give them at the beginning of the term. Let's go into the package a little more. This is just a sample of a, a sample image of what it, inside of the packages look like. Of course, the books, we don't provide the books, you provide the workbooks. Um, but the worksheets and the other activities that you see in there, we provide them for you. So this is just to give you a preview of what the inside of that package looks like. Then we have our online platform. Our online platform, it, how it works is that we give you a sign up. So you, we send you a link and you sign up for our online platform. Once you've done that, it becomes easier for you because now all you have to do is download the app and voila, it's, it's very accessible. It is self-check-in. It corrects, meaning that it corrects the children if they've done something or answered something incorrectly, right? So let me just give you a preview into what the online platform would look like. Right, so each month you are assigned 20 activity tasks. So you would have your username and you would sign in You'll be given a picture password and voila, you are inside. As I said, once you've downloaded the app, you, it would, you would have a lot e easier access. So as you can see, those are the activity task cards that we would assign. Students can click their answers, type their answers, or drag and drop their answers. Right? It's a very fun, interactive online program. And again, you receive 20 of these every month. So basically you get five per week. It goes hand in hand with what we are teaching, whatever lesson we are teaching or whatever topic we are teaching, it goes hand in hand with the worksheet, right? It is a form of reinforcement as well and reevaluation, right? So you would be able, these children, they love it. They really do. Once they have their device, they usually even pick it up for themselves and go in and actively do their task cards, right? So that is just to give you a sneak peek of what our online platform entails. Now parents remember, please make notes of your questions. So afterwards in our question and answer segment, you can ask them. So please be sure to make note. Right, resources via IBIS link. Now I'm going to stop sharing this screen and go to another screen sharing. Right. Unfortunately, we didn't. We were not able to um, have the IBIS link accessible for you this morning. However, upon sign up, it will be there for you. So for now, we are just going. To, I'm just going to show you it from my Dropbox. So just give me one second to share that file with you.
So when we talk about resource link, this is what we're speaking about. And it's gonna be very similar on the IBIS link. This is where you access all the files and it's gonna have all the information in it for you. So let's just do one for example. Each file would have a video file, a date list and crafts and activities. So videos for lessons, basically whatever topic we're teaching, we would have it within that video file. So it assists you with transitioning from one topic to the other and also introducing the new topic to your children. From there, you would be given a date list. What the date list is basically is a breakdown of the dates of all the worksheets that you have to complete. So it tells you what day you, so let me show you, better show you than tell you. All right, so this is another example of what we would have used at the beginning of the two. So this is what your date list looks like. So this is a junior preschooler's date list. It gives you the instructions at the top and then it breaks down exactly what you have to get done for that week. Mm -hmm. And you receive one of these each week. So no, you do not have to try to figure out, so what am I to do here? When am I to do it? Um, no, you don't have to, you're not on your own. We're here with you, all right? And then from there is where you are going to also access your craft file. So I'm going back to the folder and it shows you all of the craft or the activities, the science activities that you would have to complete for that specific week. So it's really, really easy to operate and you, the children are really going to enjoy it. And you too would have um, fun with it because it is something where you have to be involved. You have to participate with them. You have to guide them and you have to support them. So you too um, actively participate in the fun and even siblings, if they have siblings. You will be re receiving a book list upon registration at CTS. The only thing that is not on this list that you will not see are copy books. And the copy books are only added if your child is in four plus level. All right. So we will also give you a, recommend, a recommendation list of things that you should have at home. Crayons, color pencils, scrap book, glue stick, you know, craft items like pom poms and palette sticks, pipe cleaners. We, we give you um, an idea of things that you should have at home because we provide the craft, the, we provide the activity, but we do not provide the materials, right? So that's one thing to note. We do not provide the materials. So if we say for Mother's Day, you have a postcard to do and you're required to use pom pom and glitter, well, no glitter, but um, any other craft item, because I run from glitter, right? Any other craft item um, that you have to use, you would be responsible for getting those items. All right, so again, you receive this upon registration at CTS. Our one hour Zoom session. Now, I just want to clarify because um, at the beginning, while, we, was, while um, we had that interactive session where you were telling me about the positives and negatives of the pandemic, uh, one parent would have brought up the idea of settling and um, how it's going to work, you know? Um, but I just want to clarify one thing. It is not an online class. So CTS is not offering online classes at the moment, right? We're offering a distance learning package. And within that package, we offer a one hour Zoom session, which will be held on Thursdays at 10 a.m., right? It is more an activity slash interactive session, meaning that uh, it, within that session, we want them to get to know each other a little bit. Say hi to a friend, right? We're doing it virtually. They would say, you know, say hi to a friend. Um, we use Kahoot. Kahoot is a more game, you know, learning through play sort of um, site. So we use that. We utilize YouTube where sometimes we might do a Zumba, you know, get them in the whole physical education. They have no clue physical education they're doing because it's so much fun. But um, that is what we will be utilizing in these one hour Zoom sessions, right? We do stuff like painting and um, craft, right? So these are the things that we will be doing in our one hour session, in addition to introducing the Spanish and sign language topics, right? Again, introducing, 
right? You would have all of the videos that you would need to support you in going further into the lesson of sign language or Spanish, because I heard a parent spoke about that at the beginning, where that is one thing that would really spoke to her that, that popped out there when she was looking at um, what CTS has to offer. All right, so I just wanted to clarify that. And lastly, we have a WhatsApp support group. Now, the WhatsApp support group is here to, uh, is there to offer support. We offer support to you in your time of need. We share updates at times, and we also ask you to share certain photos or certain work that were completed, as you would have seen on the date list, next to some things you would have seen share. So we actually tell you what we would like for you to share for us to see, yeah? So even though we have this WhatsApp support group, please know that CTS on a whole is your, your family and it's a support base. So outside of this WhatsApp group, you still have CTS, everyone in CTS that is there to support you, right? So it's just one big supportive family that we have here. So schedule. Now, I know this is a lot of dates to remember. All you have to remember is, listen, my package has to be collected and dropped off at the beginning of every month. That's what we have to remember. At the beginning of every month, I have to go and pick up a new package. You would have to drop back your previous package. So let's say we start on the 12th of April and you got your first month's package. When you are back on the 3rd of May, you are to return that package to CPS and receive your new package. We just, what, why we want back that, that package that you would have received first is to go through it, make sure the children are on the right track. If we see anything that we think that we should advise you on, we reach out to you, we discuss it, and we offer whatever advice we can in on whatever way to improve your child's academics, right? So just remember, for my packages are collected at the beginning of every month. So here are some topics. I know, um, again, a parent would have mentioned the topics, um, specifically Spanish and sign language, but these are the topics that we will be covering this term. And there would be more, of course, this is just the, the basics, right? Um, so in science, we cover, I won't go through it in, in, great, um, in great details. I'm seeing a question, sorry. All right, so I would get to that question after. I think that might be a good question for Ravi though. So Ravi, if you check the chat, there's a question there for, for you to look at. All right, so we're continuing. So these are the two, three topics again. Um, the other topics we'll be covering are vowels, simple maths, phonics, the basics of the letters, numbers, colors, and shapes, um, reading comprehension. Don't panic when you see reading comprehension. No, they do not have to write sentences, but we have found a very easy way to teach them reading comprehension. Our students at our school have already passed two letter spelling words and three letter spelling words. They've mastered it. And now uh, we want, we, we know that children are capable of learning this at the preschool level, given that our children have already passed this stage. So we want to introduce that to you as well. Dictation, no, it is not an entire passage, but we get there gradually. All right, and Spanish and sign language, um, we, we have a wide range of, of topics within the Spanish and sign language that we would like to cover. What I would like you to do, or what I would recommend, is probably popping over to our Facebook page, which is Rents Bright Beginners Preschool and Daycare, and it would give you an idea of exactly what our school do, what our achievement level is. You would see the children's work. You would see videos of the children doing sign language or speaking Spanish or completing worksheets. So if you pop over to the page, you would get a sneak peek into what to expect at CTS College Preschool Academy. So we're moving on really quickly. We're almost finished. Let's talk about tuition. One thing to note is that registration is absolutely free. You do not have any registration fee to pay. Cost per term, $1,800, because we're in July, August, um, where are we going to July? <laughs> we're April, May, June, right? The 2nd of July would be the ending of the program, and we start on the 12th of April, right? Please be sure to ask about the payment plan. 
they do have a payment plan available, which is $600 per month. So please, please talk to, to Ravi after um, about the payment plan options or just call CTS or the program manager and discuss it with them. Right, being a part of CTS College Preschool Academy, you would also have access to free parent and me page workshops. So for example, we have Mother's Day coming up. So we may have a mommy and me paint workshop, which is a lot of fun, by the way. Um, I would give you just a preview, one photo, uh, a slide where, which, where it could show you what our parent and me paint workshop looks like. The students would be able to engage in free craft workshops. Of course, these are all virtual. We do not have permission to have physical school just yet. So currently everything will be virtual. We have other additions, of course, that's an additional course with paint boxes, you know, children and parent paint boxes and do it yourself, clay mold kits. Now, just to give you a sneak peek into um, what our parent and me workshop is like, as you can see, what we normally do is we have a, a set of photos or a set of images that parents have to choose from. And you and your child, you and your child have to depict, you know, paint out that very same picture on your board. We provide you with that circular board, one for mommy, one for child, or one for parent, one for child. We encourage dads to come in. That's why we call it parents and me and not mommy and me or daddy and me. Right? We open it to all parents. So this is what it looks like. It's a lot of fun. Children have fun. And of course, as you can see, the parents, they too have fun. So this brings me to the end of my presentation. So time to join the fun, get registered today. And anyone, do you have any questions for me or Ravi? Hi, I'm from Tobago. Um, I'm not certain if there is an option for persons in Tobago as there would have to be a package pick up and drop off. Um, let me ask you all the questions. Sure. Also, is there going to be a certificate provided at the end of the um the period? Because I know typically when moving on to primary school, you may need a certificate from the preschool that the child went before. Mm -hmm. Right? Um I think those were the two questions that I had to ask. Okay. Yeah. So I can definitely answer one, which is the second question. Will a certificate be presented? Yes, it will be presented. Um, we also hope that as long as our numbers at the end of the academic year isn't large, that we can have some sort of graduation ceremony for them. Um, nothing too big, like we said, or elaborate, where we have a lot of people within our room or, or um, wherever we, we choose to host it. But yes, we will definitely be presenting children with a certificate at the end of the academic year, especially to those who have to go into the primary school system. And Sula, let, let me answer the question about the Tobago um, issue as well. And I think we certainly do not want to leave out Tobago or potential kiddies from Tobago as well from this. And this is part of the reason why we wanted to have this information session to get a feel for it and to determine whether or not there may be persons from Tobago. So what we can do is discuss it. We didn't consider it before to be quite honest, but it's not impossible. In fact, we have students traversing from CTS College to Tobago each month or every week. And I'm sure we could work out a plan or some type of arrangement where we can have the packages delivered at some central location in Tobago and potential parents or, or students, or whoever it is, could pick up those packages. But just allow me to discuss it. And if you don't mind, Sulan, could you privately message me your contact number? Because I'd want to discuss something else with you, right? Message me your contact number. We discuss sure. it and I'll talk to you about it, right? Sure. All Thank right. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so do we have any additional questions? Don't be afraid to ask. Now is the time to ask any question you may have. Okay, are there any concerns with the program? Are you concerned that too much of something isn't being done or you wish that something could be, um, you know, looked at differently or done differently? You have a suggestion, anything at all? 
Um, I have a, a quick question. Um, so typically a child goes to preschool from let's say three to five, so two years. How long would this program be going on for? Well, the program, well, this is a continued partnership. We're hoping to continue partnering with each other from now till whenever, until then, right? Um, this, this, um, this program is only in place, or this distance learning program is only in place because of the restrictions right now. But once the, restric the restrictions are lifted, it is our hope to actually have a physical CTS College Preschool Academy, right? So for now, we can, we can speak in the now in that this program would only be offered at this point in time because of the restrictions that we have and we cannot open physically. But when school reopens and we have permission to open, we have, you bet you can look forward to a CTS College Preschool Academy physical school. Um, uh, Ren, could you clarify? Um, so this is term three, and I think what Erica was getting at is after term three and we're ready to start back term one, the materials and the content would be different, right? So it would be continued, yes. right? Yes, it would be. So we have a syllabus. We work with our syllabus. So this is term three. After term three, we're stepping into our summer program. So sorry, right? We're stepping into our summer program, which is July and August, which we hope that all children will be on, all parents will be on board with us. It is the same system that will be set up with packages, with activities. We had, we also hope that, sh or should the government kind of, you know, relax the restrictions a little, we hope that we might be able to take, you know, them out in groups. So really small groups, whether it be to the park, um, whether it be to the playground, anywhere at all that is conducive for them. We hope to do that during the summer program.